be here and be a part of this. I mean, it's just amazing. I've always wanted to do this, so it's been a lifelong passion. I wanted to get into veterinary science, but yeah, I'm able to do part of it, but also experience all the rest that goes behind it. We've believed that rehabilitation for wild animals is very important. Um, we don't just keep the animals here for breeding purposes. Um, the main focus is to get them back into the wild eventually. The challenges they face in the habitat is obviously human invasion. Humans are just taking over, overpopulating, and we are dominating the animal numbers. But apart from that is to find open space for them, first of all, to hunt in suitable space. We get our funding from quite a lot of different places. Um, to start off is with all the visitors coming to the centre and then Pick and Pay also helps us every month with a huge donation. Um, a few years back we had an orphan rhino and we had a milk shortage, milk powder shortage, and it's a specific milk powder that we use. And Mrs Ritter phoned the head of Pick and Pay and they helped us immediately with, with some milk. Um, I mean, every little bit helps, and for research purposes, we're not here just to breed cheetahs. We're actually here to do research as well. To build up numbers again is really not a quick fix. I mean, it's, we've been running for 20 years now, and it's only now that the cheetahs started to be vulnerable and not endangered anymore. So if you take 20 years, that's a long time. Occasionally, when I've got time, I'll just come here and. Um, just feed and sit and watch them and just observe them and appreciate them. In the future, I'd like to see this place just grow further and further or bigger and bigger. And then, yeah, it could only be done with people like Pick and Pay and other people supporting the Hoots Breton Endangered Species Centre.